Here we see um, something I've already mentioned. On top, you have the website from where I've borrowed this code. Uh, in the bottom, I'm, I'm writing something to the effect I just described. You should always test and you should always in production systems have an independent uh, entity, be it a person, be it a company, be it someone who is not the developer, especially in, in large teams, who would do professional testing, documented testing, um, to ensure that all the parameters that have been specified, all the checks that program should make, are in fact there. One question I have been asked is um, why should there be constraints at the database and, and constraints at the programming? The reason for this is that if for whatever reason I flown the program, uh, hacker manages to bypass uh, one set of checks there is always a second level right? I normally would advise this route. I'll get back to this uh, at a later stage now here what we see is I'm trying to leave out the login name short password and then value and I'm getting a call I'm being told uh, you cannot leave login name now Change a couple of things, but still, I have a problem. If you read carefully the dialog box, uh, my advice is to pause the footage if you really want to read them. So, I've managed to add my first record, and I'm going to add other records which we will be using later. I have three registered users. Here what I am doing is I'm running a few tests and one thing you will notice here is uh, the fact that I have a flaw in my database. Well in my case I want login in to be case insensitive and I do want the password uh, not to be. So, uh, admin with a capital A and admin with a small A should be different. Um, as you can see from the test I'm doing here, simple SQL statement, uh, at the moment this is not the case. There we have it.
I'm going back to the database and I'm going to change the collation of the password such that uh, field becomes case sensitive. By default, uh, SQL Server will have cases which are not. I go into the password. That is a statement I wrote. That is a bug in my program. Now, if I try the test again, uh, things work as expected.